When it comes to sweet and awe-inspiring rides, you'd be hard-pressed outside of one of your mother's There's My One Per List to find one as brilliant as the Batmobile. It's a vehicle that has seen many facelifts, but it's always managed to strike fear into the hearts of Gotham's criminals should they see it appear in their rearview mirror. Yet the question surely asked is this, which are the best variations? Well, that's what I'm here to help with. I know I'm a regular saint. So with this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 best Batmobiles of all time. Number 10. New 52 Batmobile DC hit the reset button in 2011 when it relaunched its continuity, bringing about a brand new era for every superhero and villain involved. That rebrand also extended to the Batmobile, which ended up looking as mental as you'd like a car based on a bat to look. Featuring an actual bat face on the front of the car, with headlights serving as eyes as well as ornate spiny tail fins, this vehicle was designed to be seen as a living creature, and becomes yet another item in Batman's arsenal which would make would-be thieves shit their briefs. Briefs. Number 9. DCEU Batmobile Ditching faces for a more classic racing car look, the DCEU Batmobile is a vehicle of style and savagery. Sporting a f***ing cannon for that extra get back to your own planet power, this roadrunner is much like Batman himself. Packed full of tech, hits with an absolute wallop and is virtually indestructible. However, what stops it from placing slightly higher on this list is this. While it's technically one of the best designed cars in terms of what it offers, it somehow looks a little… unfinished. Like I'm not saying that each of these cars need crazy visual bodies, but this… well, it kinda just looks like an exoskeleton at present. Number 8. 1941 Classic Batmobile like, it's a car, I mean, but it's so f***ing wacky that it makes it unbelievably cool. That massive fin will turn heads and gives new definition to what a spoiler can be. It's probably not too great off-road and the suspension looks like it would get knackered pretty quickly, but it's so, so f***ing cool for some inexplicable reason. Plus, we have to remember before we had this absolutely iconic mobile, he just had a... A, a red car, so yeah, it's quite a step up and looks smoother than my bold bloody head. Number 7. DC Rebirth Batmobile Despite appearing in the Rebirth event, the Rebirth Batmobile is actually a series of homages to other Bat vehicles of times gone by. The long body is reminiscent of Tim Burton's model, the sliding canopy and tail fins look as if they were lifted straight from the animated series, and the bat face on the front is a callback to other iconic faceplates of the past. So what does it actually add? Well, a buttload of armour for start, and as a result we have a car that's as durable as it is respectful to the Batmobiles that came before it. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Number 6. The Dark Knight Returns Batmobile Set in near-dystopian Gotham City, Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns may just be the greatest Batman tale ever told. Fight me in the street! The story centers around an older, retired Bruce Wayne who returns to crime fighting after the mutants bring the dying city to its knees. But the veteran caped crusader doesn't come to the fight alone. Outgunned and outmatched, he decides to bring in some heavy artillery, literally, as we're introduced to the most intimidating Batmobile of all time. The vehicle was nothing short of enormous and dwarfed everything around it. It sported large cannons on the front and in place of average tires was the continuous track system, making it look like a f***ing tank. A major departure from the traditional Batmobile design, this one's intimidating appearance complemented the dystopian-like style of this Gotham City and was undoubtedly an incredible sight to behold. Number 5. The Tumbler After Joel Schumacher took it upon himself to inexplicably turn the Batmobile into a neon-lit missile – no, I don't want to talk about it – Christopher Nolan gave us something entirely different when he rebooted the franchise with Batman Begins. The Tumbler was a large tank-like automobile that had absolutely no problem running over everything that got in its way. Gone was the race car appeal and instead was the tank aesthetic of the Dark Knight Returns graphic novel. With a built-in weapons system, the vehicle could fire missiles and drop explosives, making it incredibly hard to tail. In addition, it was also incredibly durable and could crash through walls without any bother. Much like the tattered city it left in its wake, the tumbler surely left its mark. Number 4. 90s Batmobile in real life, the Lamborghini Countach is a beautiful car. So beautiful that designers in the 90s took this as the basis for their Batmobile and soon we ended up with a vehicle that was more spaceship than car. The tail fins were more eccentric than ever, rounded on one side and incredibly sharp on the other, while gigantic but slim headlights gave the vehicle a permanent frown that made it look oddly terrifying as it tore up the streets of Gotham City. And trust me, it tore those motherfucking streets up. It's a testament to the artist for coming up with something that was so 
different to the previous Batmobiles, but at the same time still embodied everything Batman stood for. It was out there, and all the better for it. Number 3. Batman the Animated Series Batmobile The Batmobile that appears in Batman the Animated Series is one of the most instantly recognisable versions ever produced, and for good reason. Inspired by Tim Burton's live-action Batman, Bruce Timm's design bears a lot of similarities to the film's variant. However, it also manages to be entirely original, sporting a more rectangular design and a chrome grille that allowed it to stand out, while complementing the artistic tone of the series. You don't even have to watch an episode to understand how iconic this version of the Batmobile is, as its role in the show's intro says more than enough. That single shot of the vehicle speeding towards its destination presents it as the larger-than-life presence that it truly is, and it's undoubtedly awe-inspiring to watch, a feeling that never goes away no matter how many times you see it. Number 2. 1966 TV Series Batmobile To many, this is the definitive version of the Batmobile, having made its TV debut in the 1960s and cementing its position for years to come. George Barris was the designer and managed to make a vehicle that was cool, immediately awe-inspiring and silly enough to fit with the campy vibe of the show. Jam-packed with a number of neat gadgets like the three large tailpipes on its boot that could emit a powerful smoke display to deter any potential thieves, a hood which housed the bat beam and let's not forget the lever that allowed an emergency bat turn, the car was kitted out with everything you could need for fighting crime and delivering bad puns at the same time. My ideal car, pretty much. And to top it off, we have to remember that this was the first ever live-action Batmobile and has managed to stand the test of time. But it's not the best. As that goes to number one, Tim Burton's Batmobile. Never has the Batmobile looked more majestic than it did with Tim Burton's Batman films. Designed by the late, great Anton First, this version of the vehicle mirrored Burton's Art Deco version of Gotham City. It possessed an incredibly long, sleek body with edgier wing-shaped tail fins on one end and eerie yellow headlights on the other. Even the moment where it first hits screens is a stroke of genius. Mike glided through grim forests with an undefinable elegance. But the automobile was every bit as dangerous as it was stylish. And there we have it, those were the 10 best Batmobiles of all times, thanks to yours truly, Jules Gill. But before you go anywhere else, maybe you'd like to check out something I've done over on the gaming channel here, or something that I've done over on the main channel over here. Don't forget that we stream live video games, including comic book games as well, every week on Twitch.